Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Epi Gamer Josh, and I'm back with another Premier League predictions video. But in this video, I will be um, uh, unboxing or opening the FIFA 22 that I got from work today. So let's get to opening FIFA 22 before I continue with the Premier League predictions. So guys, this is uh, my fiance opening the uh, FIFA 22. Say hi, babe. Can you open it? <laughs> Come on, you women have longer nails than I do. Can you not bloody open it? <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Right, so guys, let's have a look at this uh, FIFA 22. So then, um, build your dream squad from the ultimate team of Kidoki. Uh, so it says, build your dream squad and compete in FIFA ultimate team. Bollocks. Don't care. Uh huh. Yeah. And all the other crap as well. And there it is, FIFA 22. So then, guys, um, after opening FIFA 22 or unboxing it, whatever you want to call it, we now get um, down to predicting this weekend's Premier League game. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 games to predict. So starting off with uh, Manchester United versus Everton. Um, Man United had a bit of a slump recently. They lost in Europe, then they lost to they beat West Ham, then they lost to West Ham in the Cup, and then lost to Aston Villa unexpectedly. Um, Everton's going to give them a good run for the money with... Uh, Oh my god, Rafa Benitez. <laughs> um, with Rafa Benitez in charge, I think that Everton might go for glory against Man U, but with the star power in Man U, ooh, I don't know. I'm going to say a 2 1 win for Everton. Moving on to Chelsea and Southampton. Um, the obvious prediction is going to be Chelsea. I don't care if you call me biased, because I'm not being biased. I'm just going based on results and what's going on in the league table. Uh, Chelsea are far more superior to Southampton. So I'm going to say Chelsea's going to win. Ooh, I'm going to say 3 0. So 3 0 to Chelsea. Moving on to Wolves and Newcastle. Um, again, which both teams need to win. Um, I'd say, sin. I'd say with um, Jimenez making his return from the injury that he had, the horrific injury that he had, he has been scoring goals for Wolves lately. However, Newcastle have also been uh, sort of uh, scoring goals as well with San Maximam. So, I'm gonna say a solid one-one draw between Wolves and Newcastle. Moving on to Burnley and Norwich City. Um, I have a feeling that this, later on in the season, both teams will be involved in the relegation battle. Um, Norwich, definitely. Every time they win the championship, they're always the first team to go back down, unfortunately, which isn't a good piece of history. Um, Burnley, on the other hand, they've had a few scares before. Um They've been part of the relegation battles, but I think um, Burnley is going to slenderly beat Norwich 2-1. Moving on to Leeds United versus Watford. Um, I, I'm not quite sure about this one, to be honest. Um, 
Troy Dean is not a Wofford anymore, so they've lost their, you know, main go-to man, their main um, striker, as you call it. He went, I think, to Birmingham City, so um, Wofford still have good players. They still have um, Ben Foster in there. And it might, it might do well against Leeds, um, but I think Leeds, compared to Wofford, um, are a better team. So I'm going to say probably a 2-0 win to Leeds United. Moving on to one of the highlights of the weekend, which is Brighton versus Arsenal. Now, Brighton are up there, up in, up in the top end of the league, something they've never ever done before. Well, I don't think they have anyway. Um, they're facing the Arsenal side, which are now, um, which are now making their way up the table. After a slow start. Um, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out. Uh, based upon the recent results that Arsenal have um, polished together. Especially against their North London rivals Tottenham. Um, <clears throat> I think they are going to beat Brighton. But I don't think they're going to demolish Brighton. So I would say a solid three. 3-1 to Arsenal, dare I say it. <laughs> Moving on to um, Tottenham and Aston Villa. Um, Tottenham, they've not been the great... Well, they are up there, but they've not been as dominant as they can be. Um, Aston Villa going into um, a win last weekend against Manchester United and, of course... Cristiano Ronaldo, they'll, they'll be uh, living there and they won't let it go. And I think uh, they won't be mentally prepared for a test against Tottenham. Um, however, Aston Villa, they can pull surprises when they want to. And I think they are going to surprise another Premier League contender, dare I say. Tottenham, a Premier League contender. Oopsie. Um, but I think Aston Villa are just going to edge Tottenham by winning 1-0. So Tottenham 0, Aston Villa 1. Moving on to uh, West Ham and Brentford. Uh, West Ham, they are loving it in the Europa League. Two wins from two. They are a new team under David Moyes this season. They certainly are a surprise package. Um, obviously... They've already had a, an upset against uh, Man U in the Cup. But in the league, um, they're doing quite well against the Brentford team, which is also doing absolutely fantastic as well. I'm going to find it hard to break these two ta um, teams down. Um, but dare I say, I have a feeling West Ham are just going to edge Brent Brentford in the London derby. So... I'm gonna say, hmm, I'm gonna say, three two to West Ham. Moving on quickly to Crystal Palace versus Leicester City. Um, Leicester City, they've got Jamie Vardy, and uh, Crystal Palace have got Zaha. Um, for me. Patrick Vieira is sort of settling into the Crystal Palace managerial post now. And I would actually be surprised if he can pull off a win against Leicester. I don't think he will. I think Leicester's going to escape with three points, but only just. So, so I am going to say Leicester 2, Crystal Palace 1. And moving on to probably the game, the biggest game game of the weekend of course is Liverpool and Man City. Liverpool and Man City have been going at each other for the Premier League title now for the last few years. Man City have always had the edge over Liverpool except for the 2019-20 season where Liverpool did actually edge out Man City to the title. Um. 
I'm going to say this is the toughest match I'm ever going to predict, most likely. But I'm just going to say Liverpool, dare, dare I say, they're probably not going to win. I'm not going to lie. I don't think they're going to win. I think either... I think... I'm going to go with a prediction of 2-1 to Man City. So yeah guys, that is match this 7 out of 38 done. I believe uh, after this week we are heading into a international break. But the next time we come out of the international break, we have classic matches for you. Um, in match day 8, which I think will be in two, day, two weeks time. Or three weeks time, I think. Um, anyways guys. Um, that is it for this Premier League predictions video. I do apologise it has come later than usual. I actually forgot to do it this morning before I went to work. So I figured out that I'd do it right now. Before I uh, put FIFA 22 into my PS4 and uh, you know install it. So guys, um, if FIFA 22 quickly installs, which I hope it does. Then I will be streaming FIFA 22 tonight. Tomorrow night, Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night. And I will scrap the FIFA 21 Farewell gameplay part 2. So, if FIFA 22 quickly installs, then the FIFA 21 um, Farewell gameplay part 2 will be cancelled. And I will rename the part 1 video... To just the farewell gameplay. So then guys. I am looking forward to streaming FIFA 22 for you guys. So. Um, I hope you are looking forward to seeing. What content I bring you on. FIFA 22. I have it all planned out in my head. No matter how big or small it is. And I have some amazing content to share with you. On FIFA 22. And it'll say FIFA 32 then. But <laughs> Anyways guys. Until next time. Stay safe. Stay positive and I will see you on FIFA 22 hopefully. Peace out guys and thank you for watching. And if you also have any Premier League predictions then please post them in the comment below. So yeah that's it from me. Goodbye and thank you for watching.